September 28, 2023. Got Digger Dave here at the jug dump. And Shelly, before I could even do anything, she's already mowing grass over there. But Shelly will be getting in on some of the digging here pretty quick. So you can see she's mowing grass. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to her right away. That's where I go. Oh, we got Paul over here. He's having a sandwich already. So we're gonna walk here into the back. It's just out front here. We uh, we got here. I don't know what time it is. 11 o'clock, something like that. But we put some hydraulic fluid in. Not near as much as last time. He is leaking a little. And get some more diesel fuel. Got it warm enough there. And we already cleaned up all this stuff. It was pouring down rain when Paul and I left. And here's just a few of the ones that was we left out. We brought two or three buckets home with us, but this is just some stuff that was there. So this just started get starting here already. Did find a Grows tasteless chill tonic, the Heinz, a few little things, a little gold paint bottle, a lid, but uh, just in some, some of the back dirt there, Paul was digging around down in there just a bit, but I'll show you where we're at just to get a start here so you kind of get an ideal. We got the root system of this big tree here, and uh, it eventually is going to come out of here. We're going to drop that tree. There's actually two trees but uh, the whole root system underneath there, we've not dug any of that yet. So today the plan is we're gonna get down in here, the hole we were digging on, it's where we got that milk glass bitters and the Zanesville two pound honey bottle, and Cobalt Sanford's Radical Cure. But we're gonna take some of this bank, chop into here, bring it back up closer towards the tractor, and uh, we'll, we'll clean that out, make it safer. Probably gonna have to start dumping dirt over here. It may run down the hill, but I don't know what else to do with it. Our pile over there is getting too big and it's gonna start rolling back in the hole, so. All right, well, we're gonna get into this and we'll see what we can do. Hi, it's Shovel and Shelly. We're just sitting up here praying with this praying mantis that everybody's doing okay. <laughs> we're here with Dave. And Paul digging at the duck dump. Let's see what they are up to over there. Thanks for all the prayers to God. Boy, that kid.
and we're we've turned the backhoe off for right now let it cool down a little bit we're gonna get down there and dig there's Shelly over here she's digging away finding a few things this is easy this is fun <laughs> yeah this is awesome it's like a big scene castle <gasps> oh my god look at that what did you find? I got a teapot spout. Oh, cool. And right here, I was oh, ready to... Oh, wow, <laughs> look at that. Yep, don't find many of those it's here. It's a clay elbow pie. It sure looks like in good shape. It does. That so looks like, excited. like from the 1870s or 80s. Let you me can see. put that in your pocket. Oh, cool. Um, Paul pulled out right. the little cologne bottle right before that. Now, that's cute. Yeah. Paul's down in there digging. We're going to show him in a minute. But we got Shelly. Oh, man, I haven't been here for so long. I know it. Yeah. Well, boy, you found that right there, didn't you? Oh, we would have yeah. missed that. But yeah. Anyway, that's our pile. It's growing. And I'll just quickly show a few of the things we got here. Um, I don't know how much of this may have gotten shown, but there's a little pint. Mason's Patent 1858 jar. And that is a... Um, Purdue Frederick Company, New York, medicine bottle. A few little doodads there. Pull. There is a Clinton Bottling Works, clear crown top. A couple mineral waters, and we've got a K on it. So does that one. And there's a pretty blue uh, hawk wine. <laughs> All right. Paul found that over here a minute ago. The Pluto water. Okay, you've seen those. Oh, here's a. This is pretty cool. ABGM Co. and it's black. I mean, it's so black you can't see through it. So those are kind of hard to find. But we found a couple of them in this dump. So that was pretty neat. All right. Now let's go down in here and see where Paul's at. We're down in there probably, oh, 14 feet probably. Below down there. We actually dug below the dump to the bottom where Paul's at it's in the... A layer and as we come up this wash oh, a few months ago we dug all this over in here and where he's hitting there where somebody may have missed something right on the bottom so he's digging that first make sure we get all of that and then we'll start working back the other direction so so that's our plan you can see it's loose there where that's been dug right up above that boy ain't much in that is there yeah, I think I'd forget that then. Well, I'm right in here. I'm trying to work my way down. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit on Paul if he hits something. But we just hate to miss it since we got the backhoe, you know, and if it falls in, we'll just <clears throat> bucket it out. That way we're not going to miss anything down there in that bottom. That was our plan. To dig it systematically and make sure we get everything. Boy, those old buckets. All kinds of stuff down in there. Rusty layer. It sure is fun though digging with that backhoe. It's going to spoil us. We're thankful. But a little update on, uh, on son Joshua. He's doing a lot better. Oh, great big drugstore bob. And uh, but he's not able to speak yet. Uh, but his seizures have really subsided, and he's definitely doing better. He's able to eat now. Passed the swallow test, so. Before, he couldn't even eat anything. He had to feed him intravenously. But he's still in intensive care. But keep praying. But he is doing better. So we thank you for your prayers. Yeah, we found one over here. What'd you find? Just oh, that looks like a Heinz. Yeah, she's finding little things. Art projects. <laughs> what have you there? Boy, if we were digging this by hand, ooh, where I'm standing, it's a long way down there. But it's not as deep if you were digging from right over here, but. Yeah, I'll come down and spell you right away. And a couple bottles there, just slicks. 
What do you think, Bay? Isn't that the biggest hole you've ever seen? Bay says, boy, I, it takes me a while to dig that. <laughs> yeah, she sees it down there. It's in her mind, isn't it? <laughs> she sees that creek. Hey, is that Garrett? Yep. Oh, good. Garrett wine. See, it's starting to pick up a little bit down in there. So that's good. Oh, man. We're due for a good porcelain sign. Be careful with rust. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get down there in the hole here in a minute. It's actually big enough for two people to dig. Slick. Oh, nice paneled medicine. Nothing on it. So we'll all see how this works out. Oh, nice whiskey, Amber. All right. The strategy of digging a, a hole down below the bottom of the dump, like where Paul's feet are. That's actually, there's nothing there. That's below the layer of the dump itself. And that we're raking the dirt in here and then we'll, we'll scoop it out. down in the hole now. Paul here. And Shelly's up there digging. <laughs> How you doing up there? Great. <laughs> She's digging around through the back dirt there. And there is stuff in there. There's a tea leaf uh, lid here. Nice tea leaf ironstone uh, china lid. Paul's working on our first jug. It's got a wide mouth. Oh, does it? One of them molasses jugs looks like. So yeah, we're down in here a good little ways. From the side, from the yard side where the back door is, probably about 10 or 12 feet, I guess. I've been digging over in this area, it caved in, don't look very good. There's a lot of brick rubble in there. So we're switching a little bit off to the side here. I think the mosquitoes getting in. Yeah, whenever I stop moving. Oh man, I know it. They're eating me up. So far, so good on that jug. White. Looks like a gallon sized jug. There. Yeah. Catch up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Catch up ball. And panel ones. This rusty layer there, we like to dig as much of that as we can by hand so we don't break something. If that back coat tooth come right down through your way, just crunch that jug. And here it comes. Let's see. Some of this is loose from where the back hole hit up through there. So. Thankfully, we didn't get down that deep. All right. That's a nice one. Yeah. Nice wide mouth. Sorghum or molasses jug. Looks real good condition. Yeah. Looks good. Nice applied handle. You don't find too many of those. Uh -uh. We don't. It's a good one. Iron stone coffee cup there. Alright, we're going to keep on going. We're going to probably dig just a little bit more and then we'll. Fire up the back hole, let it warm up a little, and clean out this dirt again. Looking better, definitely. Yeah, this way. it looks a little better there, doesn't it? Broken. It's definitely 
definitely not been dug right there. Yeah. Better look at the stuff. What was it, honey? You got something? Clinton soda bottle. Oh, a Clinton soda, yeah. Oh, you went down in here to do no, some digging? I'm fine. Well, we'll get you in here right away. You gotta. Oh, yeah. UD Company, United Drug Company. Still gotta move a lot of dirt. We do. Head. It's still. Still a lot of work. Then you can switch around back behind you over there. See if there. I guess that's as good as any right there. Like food bottle. Plenty of those in here. It's like another food bottle. That's about where we hit that honey bottle and cobalt uh, Sanford's Radical Cure last time, though. It was somewhere right in this area. Yeah. Probably loose there where we drug with a backhoe and fell, fell back in. Some brass. Oh, broken. Oh, on no, the boss, nothing man. on it. Cobalt. Cobalt medicine. Here's a food bottle. It's a Heinz anyway. H.J. Heinz Company patented on the bottom. Like a chili powder. Rex on the bottom of that. Oh, got a hole in it. Oh, now it's looking better, Paul. Getting some more bottles there. Some buckets. Ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> oh, bottle. Wine or something. Oh, yeah. It's looking like it's getting pretty consistent right in there, yeah, though. Like, you know, they're mostly slick foods. <laughs> they'll all turn, all turn amethyst. Every one of them. We'll have to show them once we get them turned amethyst. Well, Wow. You get tired, just holler, I'll take over. No. <laughs> Jelly jar. Dried beef, snuff, whatever that is. Big trash. Yeah. That's getting better and better. Is that amber? Vaseline, it sure is. It's amber Vaseline. He's burl. See, that's coming right off the bottom, and then right next to it, we'll hit something a lot older. It's just all mixed together. And then Peoria. Drugstore boss. Hey, there you go. Nice. Pulling them out, though. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> Take a break here right away. That was one of them. Uh, oh, I forgot what the name of them is. Oh. Panel, panel clear thing. It's big. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot what the Maple called. syrup? Yeah. Bottle? Yep. Is it? Towel. Oh. Towel. Towel. Towel or towel. Towel, towel, maple syrup. Yeah. Oh, well, that good. Hand blown. Older hand blown one. Cool. 
I don't see any cracks in it. I think it's going to mm, clean up nice. That does look good. The syrup in this bottle is manufactured by the Toll Maple Syrup Company. All right, hand blown one. That's a keeper. Oh. <laughs> Sheet metal. Oh, that's kind of fancy looking whatever it is. Oh, yeah. It's got a bulbous scotch. neck. Scotch. Scotch bottle, maybe. Scotch, yeah. yeah. I call them scotch. All the oh. tops gone. That's what it was, though. We got holes. Oh, well, we yeah, it was. Hole the other day. Yeah, it's always green. You hitting the bottoms of them cold cream jars. It's still pretty trashy right there. Yeah, it's definitely like a vein run through there, isn't it? Just a good foot trash, oh boy. Yeah, comes some trickling. But if some of that trickles. It it might expose another area. Yeah, it could. That pint whiskey flask. Helps my back to move at different angles. Yeah. At least we don't have to shovel all the dirt out. Yeah. Every five minutes. That takes a lot out of it, guys. Still hard work. But... See the camera moving. It's me scratching mosquito bites. Man, they're just eating, eating me alive. At least I'm keeping them off the pole. Come on. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a caffeine. All right. Oh, good. Keeper. Bromo caffeine. Yep. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 Pretty bottle. Well, that was popular stuff, too. Yeah. Bromo caffeine. I like how consistent this uh -huh. side is looking better. You know? I do too. All right, well, I think I'll turn the camera off. I'll go up and get a bucket and bail out our bottles. And... Boy, I can't leave though. It's just too... A lot of bottles in there. You never know what's going to come out. <laughs> Everybody's doing real good. Oh, look, it's still got the cork. Yeah, shoe, shoe polish balls. Yeah. I especially thank Andrew Gilliam. He's been buying bottles from us and good friend. And Lord sure answered prayers in his life, too. He was sharing with me testimony, and man, that's something. So. Appreciate Andrew and hope you're doing good today and he's up in up in the UP of Michigan, I believe it is. Paul was born up in Michigan, weren't you? Yep. Born in Jackson, Michigan. Born the New Tribes Bible Institute there. It was just Paul's time to come in out come on in. So he was born there. Well, I was living in Michigan. Almost 40 years ago. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? And what long after that, you were digging bottles, so. <laughs> yeah, this is broke, but look at the label. Oh, cool. Rifle brand fuel, yeah. standard strength extract lemon of Chicago. Oh, yeah, man, you can. Boy, that label's real nice, man. Rifle brand. Oh, that's a nice lid. It's one of those uh, Albert Wood satin skin cream. If we can find the bottom to that, that'd be cool. Patent 1900. Or 1901. Yeah, there it is. Patent 1901. Jar, satin jar. skin cream. Oh, really? Hey. Cool. Look at those bottles coming. Out of there, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a olive bottle. 
Come on. Have oh, some. it's clear. Oh, nothing. On it. nothing. It's one of them that should have been oh, a dray or something. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice old jar. Oh, it'll turn amethyst. But... Yeah, wish it had been a dray or. Top hey, yeah. Bottles. A little stopper there. Isn't it? Barber ball, hair tonic type ball. Man, hitting stuff. No one in yeah. Heinz. All right, well, I'm going to go get a box. Yeah, we'll come think, back and. I think we're going to need some. You boxes. can see, man, he's sure hitting the stuff. There's a glass stopper, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at there. Some of the cork on it. it goes to the whiskey bottle, there, isn't it? Yep. That's there, right there. Little stoppers. At least this way we're not missing missing much, if anything. All right, time to get them. All right, yeah, Shelly's cooling off. With some. Cool off your wrist and your whole body will cool down. That's right. That nice Perfect. old 110 year old hand blown whiskey bottle. Uh -huh. And a slick druggist hand blown. We got a little circle on it even. Uh -oh. No, oh, nothing. Oh. Surprise. We got gypped on that one. Little aqua sunken panel medicine bottle, hand blown. <laughs> nothing on it. But, <laughs> well, well. Little clear jar. Looking good, though, doesn't it? Oh, boy, yeah. Right down on the bottom. Looking good. Like Paul said, it's a little deeper there than just six or seven feet over here you can see the bottom is right in here and it's kind of tapering down a little bit uh -huh. you can see where Paul's at that big tree there it must be going pretty deep <laughs> under that but it's, it's getting to be a sizable layer here you can see the bottle sticking out up in there uh -huh. she's hitting them right on the bottom the Chamberlain yeah I can dig over here Behind us there. Holds big enough for three of us, I isn't know. it? Oh, that's probably... amazing. Oh man, only with a backhoe. Well. Wow. Hey, why don't you go up a little higher? Yeah, you can dig them up higher if you want. I don't know. Yeah, that was a Chamberlain's immediate relief. Elkhart, Indiana. Broken. I'm always afraid of missing something. Like this one. Yeah. Oh, whiskey bottle. All right. Well, praying that Josh could get better and maybe he could join us. Yeah. <laughs> he would want you guys to find something good. Yeah. We gotta get get a couple of your kids in on this, Paul. Yep. We got plenty of kids to help if we need it. Yeah, they grow up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they'll be real interested. Then you'll we'll just want them back young again. Yeah. Little jar there. Oh, them got something on. That one don't. Clear jar. Oh, that was a little shot glass there. Mm -hmm. See cool that? Looking. Yeah. Cut glass, a little paneled shot glass. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. See what those are that's sticking okay. out there? There's <laughs> stuff down in there, isn't it? It's hard. There's an olive. Is the, olive messing around? Oh, and oh, one <laughs> we hit one of them all ago. Scotch ball. If that would have fell, I would think I broke it. Oh, yeah. Boy, they're coming out Ooh, now. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a whiskey with part of the label on it. Is it a Garrett? Garrett. All right, yep. Oh, it, sure it is. There goes the top. Or I think it is. Weird stuff. Yeah, Garrett. That one says Virginia Dare on that one. Virginia Dare. Some lamp stuff. Okay, yeah. Apparently. I just yeah. love the pieces that come out. Boy, some pretty plates. Forever to bring. Oh, that's so cute. Sponge wear. The sponge wear coffee pot. 
We have another old half pint whiskey. Yeah, I like how thick that layer yeah. is looking. I hope it keeps going. I do too. Oh, top's gone on that one. It's getting a little weak up there above it. Yeah. Oh, At least we can broke. just put that Now we can move it, it move it over yeah. here and still dig more. It's right. Because we're down below oh, the bottom yeah. over here. So. I think we'll get something to eat right away and when we come back I'll I'll dig this out. Yeah. And I'll scoop this out down in here. And um that side we're just about done with it. I think we'll we don't dig that no more by hand. I think I'll just maybe take one or two scoops with the backhoe. Yeah. Get that. Alright, well. We'll um Is there a good one? Out I don't see anything. Out before you leave. <laughs> yeah, if anybody sees anything, let us know. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll I got out. Wi-Fi on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ought to do like a CD, live thing. That'd uh, be kind of fun. A CD thing that would fit it. We'll work on it. Shelly might figure out how to do hers. I don't know how to do it. I just need a gigabyte 32, and the last one I got was the wrong size. I'm gonna gigabyte McDonald's here right away. <laughs> Alright, well there's a lot of bottles there. Yeah, there's a big one there, but is there? I don't think okay. it's going to come out very easy. I don't want to knock everything in. Oh, I don't, right? Yeah. Don't hurt a thing. Not a big one. No. Oh, you see that one? Oh, <laughs> yeah. If you can get it. I don't know if I can. See what it is. Don't get cut. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful. <laughs> Where are your gloves? What are you trying to do? <laughs> Lots of little smalls in there. Yeah, it just I can't tell. Nope, it's broke. It's broken. Oh, look like a it jug. A jug. Oh, it was. It was a broken jug. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna take a break. Get something to eat. Good healthy snack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but wonderful health food from McDonald's. <laughs> All right, we're back from lunch. Yeah. Me and Shelly, we're just out here with Bay and Paul. He's down there digging. Oh. There's Bay. <laughs> How's that doggy? McDonald's wasn't so well. Oh, McDonald's. Oh, okay. Well, that's what happens when dog eats McDonald's right there. They start eating grass. That's not a good sign. Oh. Anyways, got a little fire going here. Shelly's burning some limbs and. Just turned the backhoe off, that digging for a little bit there. Paul's down in the hole, show him. But I uh, wanted to show you what I found. Just looked down in the hole and seen this laying in there exactly like that. You can see the label. It's a nice old fruit jar. It says Bismarck Preserves, Reed Murdoch Company, Chicago. Isn't that cool? And it's actually a clear ball mason jar. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> does have one little crack right there but it's only about a half inch crack but that is pretty neat it's got the label on it there so we we're pretty excited about that we got some other stuff over there I'll show it right away but I want to get down here and see where Paul's at. I gotta be careful because I don't want to fall in there on him you hitting anything or yeah there, there's a few things sticking out okay you're so, right on the, it's right on the bottom here all right bottom that's about as far as I can reach well, where we're sitting so. it definitely almost reaches wow the bottom we here. yeah but we're just barely like on the bottom you said, if we? this looks good we probably need to dig this back don't we yeah can. but okay but it looks pretty good well it's definitely going whoops going downhill there oh that does look good right there you see where my foot is this is bottom over here but where Paul's at see it's tapering yeah, right here is bottom is that bottom it's okay? Going down this direction. It is. But, there's a slope. But that's okay. Yeah. Right there's a beer bottle right on the bottom. Hey, look at that. Yep. Yeah. Battery and beer. Oh. And it is machine made. Machine made. made. Wow. Pre prohibition, though. It's probably like 1917. 100, 100 year old shoes. Yep, that's definitely the bottom. I felt it with the backhoe. Yeah. That bucket when I was digging the teeth, digging down into it. Boy, you can feel it. It's real hard packed old clay. 
that's kind of what we're what our goal is is not get too much into the trash and see how Paul's throwing that back up into this zone that we've dug out and then whenever we get do some more digging we'll come back in here and dig some more of it out this side up in here this has mostly been dug so this is apt to fall but as big as hole as we got it might trickle around us but it isn't going to do much damage yeah we'll just keep an eye on them as we yeah, go yeah we're not going to go into that we're going to keep working this area here where paul's going into that was cool that jar is just sitting down there i yeah. looked over the edge and i seen that label sticking up i thought you said dray mason i can't <laughs> hear you but ball mason that's cool yeah hey there's a hair hair piece paul oh yeah. yeah that's a nice one Ooh, yeah oh it oh. just popped but now like what you did <laughs> yeah it was probably already well, broken i think it was whole but it's brittle yeah it's real brittle it was probably on the probably cracked or something right in there but it is a nice looking one let's stop dropping it you still might be able to do something with that yeah the woman's hair piece it it's almost like two swans not sure if that's swans or if it just looks like it Clear hey an ink all right yeah that's a keeper oh yeah <laughs> Sanford's ink well, we found a few of them in here, haven't we? That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, good this thing. right here. It looks like one of them candy bottle things. Oh, it does. The lantern thing. A lantern. It is. is All right. Is? You don't have the brass parts, but hey, that's sure what the that is. patent applied for. All right. That's early 1900s. Yeah. Little lantern candy. Yeah, it's cool. missing the the bottom and the top there that had the handle on yeah, it. Yeah, it was but... right on the bottom because this is bottom. Yeah. Patent applied for. You know, I've seen these before that say patented like 1901, 1902. This one's before they got the patent. So. Oh, there was a royal purple. Oh, top's yeah. Gone. Huh. Oh, there's there's there. something there, yep. Boy, one more scoop and I would have probably crunched through that one. I hit into some. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was getting right close, so I tried not to get too much into it. Plus, you can't hardly see. I, like where I'm sitting here, see my line of vision there in the cab? I can see this. But where Paul's at down here, if you're looking up there, you know, you can't see it. You get down in here, you just kind of kind of go by feel. I'm no expert yet, but Paul will probably be a lot better at it. You need to get Paul in there, dude. Yeah, I'll get my practice on. Yeah. We're just having fun with it right now. Good trashy looking stuff there. Appreciate all of you watching. Best we can do, bring you along. Oh, one of them Pluto things. Yeah, unembossed one. Mm. Been finding a lot of it. I know it. It's a laxative uh, mineral water. Pluto water was billed as America's Physic. Now that should be embossed. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's one wow. of them 1890s drugs. Yep. Ah, look at that. Nice square one. Hand bone. Just the way it is. Look at all them whiskeys. One broke, one hole. Um, yep. Yep, one good in there. Well, I may turn the camera off and I may help Paul here a little bit, do some digging. Get both of us digging. Find more bottles, isn't we? Two ounce full measure. Yep, it's a highly oh, embossed. Oh boy. There you <laughs> go. There it is. Two ounce full measure. That's a bottle now. It's almost like yellow in the neck, though. 
A big bruise too. Yep, move some dirt. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and get that big shovel. I can help you move dirt anyway. All right. Well, we're working on another bank of stuff here. Paul just pulled out a Clinton bottling works, nice soda. Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline there. Shelby's working on a jug. Yeah, I'm hoping that's a jar. It looks oh, it could be like a, a quart-sized jar, but I could see a label on it. Could be. We hit a Larkin Company panel bottle and a Larkin Company uh, like a uh, cold cream type jar. Clear though. Some more slate. Hey, it is a jar. Hey, huh? All right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I can't make it out, can you? No, is that Heinz? You can almost. It could be. It could be Heinz. Food. I can't. The word food, food company. Oh, yeah. Some kind of a product jar. Yeah. Look what's inside of it. There's some old oh, cool. tubing or something. It is tubing. Can you see about that? Is but it'll come out. Yeah, it's all like a rubber hose, like for a enema thing or something. Oh no. They stuck that in there. Oh, it's busting up. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Figure it probably would. It's all rotten. Yeah. That's what that looked like for a hot water bottle it is. enema type thing. Yep, look at that. <laughs> that might have cool. used it for other stuff. Yeah, oh, you know what? There is a douche tip in there. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep, that's what that is. They just stuck it all down in here. That's cool. We'll just leave that like that. Sorry, I broke it. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it it. Here, get that out of there. <laughs> yeah. it up. That's why I had you do it because I knew it was going to break. No. <laughs> yeah. Look at the bottles down in there. Looks that like a blob of beer. I think it's one of them slicks. It's probably a Pluto. Kelly, can you hand that one to me? Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, it's like a Pluto. Might have Pluto on them. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big cork. Very water. Big. Well, we should never yeah. get one green or amber or I something. I know. Didn't you get one? You got I one of a odd color. Well, it's a big cork. Oh Pluto my gosh. One. It's a Clinton Druggist. No way. Is it? It is. Color? It's got purple color oh, stuff in it. Oh man. But look, what it's is Dr. That? F. E. Downey. Really? I've Have you never heard, of that, heard of that one? All that's, right. That's a 90, 80s or 90s it is. Druggist. That's ain't older. It? All right, but it's from Clinton. Oh, no, it's right on the a, bottom. And this is in that same area where you got that uh, nurser that's last the time first from Clinton. Druggist I've found. In, well, that's in here that's one Clinton. I've not seen before. We've got, I think, about three or four different ones, but that's the first. All right. Yeah, Doctor F. Downey's still got some old purple colored stuff in there. Yeah, that's old. Yay! It's in good condition too. It huh? is. It's nice. Oh, look at that shaving mug. Alright, this is good. Now we're cooking. Yeah. He's working on a couple over there. <laughs> oh, look, there's two down there. And there's two sticking out up there, I see. Nice little layer here. All working on it. Looks like sewer tile or something over there. And a little two little bottle. Well, you hit your embossed druggist I can't now, so I you, got an embossed drug. I got to start you, all over. You won't see another one I for another get thousand three, bottles. Three, at least three hundred bottles. <laughs> yeah, three hundred yeah, druggists before you get an embossed one. It's not good. Yeah. Yeah. And if it is embossed, it's usually Chicago or Indiana, yeah. New York. <laughs> New York. Boy. Uh, chemical bottle. Mm. It's embossed around the base. Yeah, there you go. The Oakland Chemical Company. Dioxygen. Dioxygen. Yeah. Well, it's All embossed. Right. Well, it's an embossed, hand-blown medicine bottle. So, yeah. Set stuff down there at Times Beach, Missouri. Was that that wasn't dioxygen? Was it di dioxin or something? 
it I'm was, not sure. They found it was in the ground and all them people had to move out of there. They were getting cancer. Times Beach, Missouri. Back, oh, I don't remember when that was, in the 80s or 90s. or something. Oxygen. I think it was dioxin. Dioxin. Similar to that. Oh, and a Bravo. It's in between all that broken Was it? Pottery. Oh, how did that survive? I don't know. You got the cork. That's an old one, too. Hand blown one. Hey, what'd you get, Shelly? Finally, a slag. Oh, it's one of them. <laughs> one of them. Oh, Probably a blob top one. thing. So there's a bottle behind you. Is there? All right. Boy, that's a thick layer of stuff there, isn't it? All right. Oh, this is fun. It's wide enough where we have three of us in here. Yeah. Well, he pulls one out, a little unbossed hand-blown whiskey flask. All got a little slick there, hand-blown amber. Yeah. Our pile is growing. Yeah. <laughs> They're slick. They're starting my slick druggist. Yeah, there you go. That's number okay. one or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 299 to go. Yep. We might get through them all today. Here's another one. Yeah, the rate we're going, you're going to get through a bunch of them. Court whiskey and the top star. Uh, yep, nothing on it anyway. Slick whiskey. Kelly's working on one down there. Oh, just another slick. Boy, they're coming out quick though, aren't they? Come out of there, man. I guess they've got their laying on a bed. Who is that? that hole? Where? It's in balls. Running away from you. That Trask's? Or Dr. O. Phelps Brown? No? Nothing. Ow. Who? Jersey City, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Phelps. Phelps Dr. Brown. Old Phelps Brown, yeah. All well, right. That's a patent and medicine. It's a keeper. This guy got some gook in it. Shelly just pulled out. It could be a Heinz. Oh. Yeah, Dr. Old Phelps Brown, Jersey City. Nothing on it, but that's nothing. A, just a good condition. Yeah. Food bottle. Sure is. This is wire. <laughs> yeah. I know. Board. You need a piece of board, Shelly. That fire it looked like it had been burnt, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all charred. I don't know why that's preserved. Somebody had a fire somewhere, I bet. All them in the window is round. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I think I'm going to turn the camera off here in a minute and I'll get a box and box up some more bottles. We're getting Get another pile here. Whoa, hey, that might be embossed. It is. Is it? Is it a whiskey? Taylor and Williams. Taylor and Williams, oh, Louisville. Yay, yep. Shelly. I have to turn the camera yeah, I think off. it is hand blown. Hand blown. Hand one? blown. Yay. Bold embossed. All right. That's a good one. Nice. We don't All hit right. We don't hit many. Ones, uh -uh. You know. Hey, that's cool. That's one of them uh, glue uh, that's things. Clear. Oh, yeah. Embossed on the bottom, probably. Uh -huh. Nice it's got, yeah, it's got the it's got the embossing on the inside of it. And I can't make out what it is, but it's got something patented. The bottom is just a sunburst, but the embossing is on the inside. A bit of a up there. Hard to mm -hmm. see there. That's kind of neat though. Uh, that's pretty close to bottom. Anyway, look at that Taylor and Williams whiskey. Louisville, yep. Nice old hand blown whiskey bottle. Alright. They're coming out. <laughs> this is fun. We're about due for a jug or due for a porcelain sign somewhere in here. Well, that's hard packed stuff, isn't it? Starting to be now. Wow. This is a crop. 
Yeah, broke. Broken cross. I don't hear it, but it wasn't a lot up there. He turned the camera off. We're finding so much stuff. I know. That's a stop. rapid fire. I know. It, once we get this piled up, like back here where we're sitting, and we'll turn the back mm -hmm. on. That was a kind of big square oh, thing. Clear on. case gin. Oh. Could have been embossed yeah. like a bitter. Oh, man. Well, we're going to hit good broken stuff here. Hey, that's a lark in a bit, honey. Hey. It looks like it. Say lark. I thought it was this little net. Yeah, lark and soap company. It's like a awesome. dentifrice, like a tooth powder. Yeah. Paul found the top for that earlier. It might have been top. <laughs> found like a little shaker type top. Yeah, it's lark and soap company. Still got a little tooth powder in it, looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I was working on another one over there. <sighs> well, there's some of what we found in the last five minutes or so here. Yeah. Another half pint of emblem whiskey flask. Something bigger up there. Is it? Yeah, you knocked that in. Ooh, Another boy. Heinz. Oh, boy, there were a lot of Heinz. Oh, I think that one's cracked. Oh, is it? Oh. This is chili sauce or something in the label. Does it? Chili sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, blue. Oh, God, that's good. That's what those are. Heinz that's chili. Good. Chili powder. Chili sauce. J. Heinz cut me on the bottom. Yeah, it is cracked. Oh. Foley and Company. Hand blown. Hey. Chicago, a little... <laughs> Small size one. Yeah, probably like a little sample. Sample of fully. He makes some good bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the bottle right there. Is there? Oh, oh it's sticking yeah. way straight up in it. Oh, yeah. That one's hard to get to. But it might just be in another broken bottle. I don't know. Yeah. I hate to get near it. <laughs> The other way. Boy. I think that broken bottle saved it. We could probably find more bottles if we dug with the backhoe, but then we're gonna break stuff. Oh. I'm thinking this is the way to go, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Since I mean, if we were renting the backhoe, that would change a lot, you know, because then we really gotta maximize the use of the backhoe. Mm -hmm. But since now we own it, I mean, hey, we're not in a hurry. Oh. oh. Yep. That might, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's close to falling. That might. Uh oh, really? It might. No. I know. I know. You got you got well, we should probably let it fall and dig back yeah. down to it if we have to by hand. Make it glass. All right, we're still here digging. Shelly's down in here. And I'm down in the hole. And Paul's down in the hole. And um, we're not going to be able to get all this in one video, so. This is going to be the end of part one, and we'll be coming back to you for uh, part two here. As soon as uh, we can get finished up and get everything all cleaned up, there's Shelly. She's always working, boxing up some stuff there. So, got a lot more digging to do, so stay tuned for part two. <laughs>